Hey everybody, General Discord here. Welcome back once again to Discord and Minecraft. Uh, today, you see I've got a little different equipment than I usually have on me. Check my inventory here. This is my Broken Protection 2 armor. There's a single compass, stack of torches, and a few things here. Now, do you know why I am so lightly armored? Do you know what we're doing today? Well, let me tell you. We're going to go to the end. Now, we're not going to fight the dragon today. We might get a go couple good shots off at her, but I am fully expecting this to be a suicide mission here. There is no escape from the end until you've beaten the dragon. I am only going to prepare myself for the fight. That's why I've got the obsidian. That's why I've got a pick. These are tools you need to get ready for the dragon. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be. Uh, most likely, uh, we might do something else after I go to the end real quick here. But, uh, yeah, we're we're running to the end here because we're getting ready for episode number 100 of Discord and Minecraft, which I believe is going to be coming next week sometime. And at that point, we are going to be fighting the Ender Dragon and hopefully not dying and also, hopefully, killing it and getting a dragon egg and then doing nothing with that dragon egg possibly ever because it has no use. But hey, we're going to go to the end today, so that's, that's a start. So the reason I brought obsidian is because sometimes you spawn on a little obsidian platform uh, floating above the void and you have to bridge over. And obsidian and endstone are the only blocks the ender dragon can't destroy. So obsidian is going to be our bridger. Now in case we don't need the obsidian, and I, I hate to lose 42 obsidian like this because it's such a pain to get, but well it's not a pain, it's actually relatively easy. But in case we need a bridge, we got a bridging supply. Uh, also in case we spawn underground somehow, we have this pickaxe. And I, ground, I did some more work at the uh, skeleton grinder just a little bit. And I got, I put an Efficiency 2 uh, book on here, and a couple Sharpness uh, sharpness books on this Iron Sword. So I don't mind losing the stuff that I have in my inventory. And this, by the way, this is just a Power 1 bow. Alright, so here we are, going to the Stronghold now. It's time. Whoa! Hi! You guy, whoa! It is a... it's a pigman party in here, isn't it? Why are there three pigmen here? That's kind of very odd. This isn't another boys. You guys should, uh, you guys should go home. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys shouldn't be here. I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask you to... oh, step in the portal. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Anyway, we don't got time for them. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so you see our end portal already has four Eyes of Ender. We need eight more. Luckily, in a previous episode, I brought an Ender chest over here. So we need eight Eyes of Ender. And we need four of these Blaze Rods. So let's go ahead and make these last Eyes of Ender we need. Look at that there. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't need that entrance really anymore that goes up to the uh, the swamp because we are in a swampland biome we really don't need to go up there anymore except for when we go exploring and doing random things okay so one pigman's still here I'm confused as to why there were three of them that seems like a crazy man okay how did he get here How did you get over here, dude? Okay. Well, you enjoy your time in the stronghold here. I'm, uh, gonna go see the dragon. Oh, boy. This is crazy. We're actually uh, finishing the portal frame here, guys. Can you believe it? Shut up, zombie. Oh, boy. Alright, here we go. 
Look at that. Portal frame is complete. Let me go ahead and take a uh, picture for the, uh, the, what's it called? The thumbnail. All right, you guys ready for this? I don't know if I am. Let's do this. All right, okay. So we are on a platform. Fortunately, it's not a very big one. Okay, no sign of the dragon so far. Let's go ahead and get ourselves up. Like I said, this is fully expected to be a suicide mission here, guys. So, don't you be expecting me to do much here. Alright. Okay, Dragon is over there. Dragon is in a stationary position. Have I already pissed off an Enderman? Oh boy. Okay. Dragon's... Oh boy, that's a dragon right there. Where's Dragon? Where's Dragon? I don't see her anywhere. Oh my gosh, would you guys stop making that noise? Ermagerd! Motorcycle going by. Don't know if you heard that or not. Oh my gosh. Enough with the noise. Enderman, please stop it. Okay. I don't know where the dragon went. Ugh. Stop it. Enderman. Let's go ahead and take out a couple of these while the dragons are missing. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's turn down the sound a little bit because that is driving me absolutely insane. What is with the dang Enderman, man? Okay, there's the dragon right there. Oh, shut up already, Enderman. Ha ha. Boy, this is, this is a kind of weird moment right here. I'm in the end. And there's the dragon. Ha! Take that. Oh, there's still one up there. It's not a good spot. Back off. Leave me alone. Ooh, dragon noises. Dragon noises. I don't know where I'm going here. Stop it. Leave me alone. Ow. Come on, Discord. Remember, this isn't the battle. This isn't the battle. Ow. Oh. Oh, jeez. Be nice to take out a few more of these healing towers, though. Be really nice to do that. Okay, watch the dragon. Watch the dragon. Okay, that was not a good shot. Ow! Leave me alone! You monster! Okay. Too high. Come on. I think I got that one. Pretty sure he did, in fact. Okay. Oh, jeez. Stop it. You stay back. Oh, look at that. The Enderman's mad at the dragon. <laughs> That's great. I've never seen that before. That's funny.
Shush, dragon. Okay, there's another one down. Stop it. Stay back. Stay away. Okay. Whoa! Get back, leave me alone. I don't want any of what you're selling. Still healing, though. Shush with that Enderman. Good gravy. Stop it. Oh. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, this is where I die. Maybe. No, it's not. I'm too good to do that. Oh. Okay. Not mad at me. He's just mad in general. Possibly the dragon. Come on, get that one out there. Too far away for that one. Let's pick up one of these arrows here. Oh, I looked at that guy. I definitely looked at that guy. Ugh. Oh, that was a guy I should not have looked at. Or should not have hit that guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, we got a good start here with uh, the Ender Dragon. Uh, let me go ahead and respawn. There's still the Ender Dragon bar. There it goes away. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that was a little nutty right there. That was crazy. Dang, Enderman got me. I was hoping to take out, you know, most of those towers if I could. So it would just come down to me and the dragon. But anyways, we've got a little bit of a challenge for the 100th episode next week, so that's good. Um, Let's see. Around the village, nothing has changed, really. I haven't done much of anything. Haven't done much of anything around here. I've been mostly playing Feed the Beast the last few days. Do you have a good idea, though, that I'm going to implement from one of my subs? And thank you for that. Uh, this comes from MC Connected. Uh, he suggested that, you know, since I'm putting the uh, log mill and farm, uh, tree farm over here, that since I have the river that's going to be running down this way, I should put a water mill beside the, uh, the logging farm factory mill log gang place <laughs> and uh and have it look like that's powering that so that's a great idea thank you for that i am going to be doing that it's just a matter of actually doing it you know <laughs> yeah this is a uh, this is going to be coming along here this project um let me get let me also ask you guys since we are on the subject of future improvements to the area of this world and such. <laughs> uh, what should I do with the Valley of the Cows? I definitely would like to maintain this area over here. Let me get over there real quick. I want to maintain this area as like a preserve for all these crazy cows. Now kind of what I was thinking is maybe of not necessarily like fencing it off up here, but having like some barriers that the cows are like difficult to get through that they, so they sort of stay down here in the valley. Um, what I was thinking of maybe doing was putting, and do I have any food in here? I do have food. Delicious steak chops. Mm, nom 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 nom. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was putting in like maybe a couple villager shacks up here somewhere. Like, uh, up on this hilltop, on this ridge maybe. Maybe have a couple over here. And then maybe one up here as well. And then a couple down over here. They're sort of like, it's sort of like a little community up in here that, you know, tends to the cows. And, you know, they're, they're farmers slash ranchers up here. So let me know what you think. If you have any ideas to uh, add on to that, please feel free to uh, suggest those in the comments. I am more than happy to hear all sorts of suggestions like that. Um, I don't really have too many other plans up for this area here. Um, this is uh, kind of not going to be too important of a region uh, to the whole to the whole enterprise that I'm working on. But I do definitely want to put some stuff out here since I've already, you know, 
insanely increase the number of cows here. I'm a madman, you see. I've gone mad with power. Uh, and then the dam. Dam is looking good. I love this thing. It's beautiful. Uh, the other thing that I need to figure out is the obsidian generator up there. Because I definitely want to keep one of those, but I don't want to have it be out in the open like this. So I'm thinking of putting it in like a separate building. And maybe what I might end up doing is having like sort of an industrial type zone that starts with that logging mill. Maybe this can be one of the buildings nearby. It's just an obsidian sort of thing. Like a, and it could have like a forge inside as well. Uh, just to, you know, complete the look of the city. Because I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe the city's not going to be over by the jungle after all. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this. And it's going to be difficult for me to build that much. I'd kind of like to stay in the area. So what I'm going to do probably is build around the village here. That'll be sort of like the uh, the core of everything. And then, like I said, the river I'm going to make is going to go through here. I'm still going to make this river. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm not too worried about it. Have the water flowing down over here, past the village. Then when it comes down over this way, maybe I'll have uh, the water mill right here and then the lumber mill right up on this ridge here. And then down over here, by the water, is where I'll have, you know, the expanded community. You know, different buildings and stuff like that. Just try to make it, you know, like a bit of a city between these two water sources. Because you've got to have some sort of water source for a uh, viable community. That's just history right there. But we got these lakes right here. Uh, we can deepen these, make them a little deeper. Which would, which would be implied by the, the, the deepening part of what I just said. And squid just drowned in there. This guy's probably going to drown in a second here too because squids are unbelievably derpy right now. That's another thing that Minecraft needs. Minecraft needs more underwater content because the oceans are just barren. I mean, these guys right here, these guys are just nothing. They're nothing. I mean, look at that. Look at how easy I killed that guy and took his ink sack. It's just sad. All right, well, thanks for joining me for this uh, episode today, guys. It is much appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and don't forget to tune in next week for the 100th episode of Discord in Minecraft. I'm not sure what day that's going to be on, but it's coming out next week, so we're almost there the triple digits, and we're going to fight the Ender Dragon for real that time, and we're going to kill that dragon. Because, honestly, I could have probably killed the dragon today just by... Uh, just by with my power one bow and my sharpness two sword that I had in there. Not not too difficult really. So anyway, thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.